everyone, I'm Joshua Clement with Flatty Contractors. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to connect your galvanized pipe to your copper piping. Now for this job, you'll need a couple things. For this job, we'll be using a propane torch, flux, solder, emery cloth, a brush to wipe on our flex, some plumber's tape, and depending on what size you're hooking up to your galvanized, you will need a female connector to a solder end. In this case we're using a half inch galvanized to a half inch copper. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and tape up our galvanized pipe. After you have it taped, go ahead and take your connector and screw it into place. After that's screwed into place, we're going to go ahead Take our emery cloth and clean up our copper. You want to make sure that it's nice and shiny. Then we'll go ahead and clean up the connector that's hooked to the galvanized. After everything is cleaned, we're going to go ahead and put the flux onto our pipe. We've gone ahead and lit our torch, and we got our solder. I'm going to go ahead and put out about seven or eight inches of it, and we're going to go ahead and braise the pipe. What that means is we're going to heat up the pipe and put some solder on there, so that way when we slide it in, it's a nice fit, and as soon as we put heat on there, it's going to go ahead and start sealing to the connector. After you have your pipe brazed, go ahead and warm it up a little bit, and then slide it into your connector. Now that our pipe is in there, we're going to go ahead, warm it up with the torch. Start putting our solder on. You want to do it right into the joint. That way that flux helps suck it down into the joint. You want to keep doing it until you have a nice bead that goes across the top. I'm Joshua Clement Flighty Contractors. Thank you all for watching and good luck with this project.